Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. We're looking at question six now on the 2011 uh, Manitoba Math Contest. So question six here, it's got two parts. Part A, a beach ball floating on a lake was not removed until the water had frozen. It left an impression in the ice that was 12 centimeters deep and 40 centimeters across. So this is a cross-sectional look here, and it looks like we have a chord of a circle. What is the radius of the beach ball? Ah, okay. So let's complete the side image of the beach ball here. So here's our full beach ball. Yes, it's not quite a circle. There we go, that's a little better. Now, uh, ice leaves an impression, so it's 40 across and 12 deep. Well, let's connect this 12 up to the uh, center here. We're going to have right angles, and not only that, it's going to uh, split our chord in two. So it was 40, now these are both 20. And what's this length here? Well, it's the radius minus 12. Because we have these right angles here, we can add in a right angle triangle, whose hypotenuse is r. Now we get an equation r squared is r minus 12 squared plus 20 squared. Okay, r squared is then r squared minus 24r plus 144 plus 400. Cancel those, bring the 24r over to the other side, and uh, 544. So 24r is 544, r is going to be 544 over 24. Um, I can definitely divide by four on the top and bottom, so we'll have uh, uh, 125 plus 11, so 125 plus 11 is 136. So we get 136 on the top over six on the bottom. I can divide by two again uh, and get 73, no, 68. 68? Yeah, 68 over 3, and that's as low as it's going to go. So 68 thirds is the radius. And uh, did they give us a unit? Yeah, so 68 thirds centimeters, I guess we should technically say. Okay, so now B part. O is the center of the circle in the, di uh, in the diagram. OAC is 25 degrees, and OBC is is 37 degrees. Find angle AOB. Okay, so this is a question that's going to rely on our knowledge of circle theorems, because I notice I've got uh, some angles subtending a common chord. So we have AOB. So O, AOB, and so we want to figure this out, so we might call that theta. And then we've got C over here, which crosses things. And C, we get uh, 37 degrees. And here we get, uh, what was it, 25? Yeah, 25 degrees. Okay, well, what are we to do now? Well, we have to use what I like to call the Star Trek theorem. And I've, I've actually heard some more professional mathematicians than I refer to it as the Star Trek theorem. Because it involves what looks like the Star Trek sort of communicator badge. But if you have an angle alpha that uh, goes from a chord to another point on the circle, and you have that same chord, but they connect up and get the angle at the center, it's going to be twice alpha. So here we have C subtending chord AB, but that's a point on the circle. And then we have O subtending AB. So this angle in here is going to be theta over 2. Okay, so we've got theta over 2. What are we to do now? And uh, just double check. They do make reference to the diagram. So I'm just wondering, do, do we have to assume C is here, or could we have C, you know, be back here? In which case, you know, this is 25, and this is 37, and I guess this is theta over 2, and this is theta here. Uh, you could still solve it. So the uh, angles all together have to add up to 360. So, yeah. Um, 
But another way we could do this is uh, based on the diagram, we can say, ah, this angle here is this angle here, because they're opposite angles in a, a transverse. Or, uh, yeah, transverse lines. So we know that theta plus 25 plus x is the same as x plus theta over 2 plus 37. X's cancel out, we'll get theta over 2 here, and 37 minus 25 over here, but that's just 12. So that tells me my angle here is 24 degrees. And uh, incidentally, our angle x, I mean, this has to add up to 180 degrees, but uh, we didn't actually need that. We just needed the two triangles here. Um, yeah, not bad. Uh, but what is our x? So 25, 24, so that's 49. So x would be... Um, 180 minus 49, so that's uh, 140 minus 9, so 131. 131 plus 37 is 168 plus 12. Yeah, it's 180. Okay, I buy it. And uh, those are the two circle-based questions that made up question number six. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at question number seven. Have yourself a wonderful day, and thank you for watching.